Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name and new house alert. So I was in the process of doing a, uh, well, building a new construction, a custom home. And I had got the construction loan, the VA construction loan. So I was getting ready to do it that way. And um, that's out of the, you know, I've completely changed now, right? So it was very difficult trying to, I guess, work it out as far as doing a custom build. One of the things that you have to do is you have to, most builders want you to purchase the land before you even contact them about a bill. But, you know, with the VA loan, it's all done together. So you don't actually have to go out and buy the land. Now you can buy the land and then still do it and all of that kind of stuff. But they, they really could do it all together. So it's a one-time close, single close up front. And so it can all be done together. But even before, even, even like before you even start building, of course, you have to get the plans and you have to get the blueprints and you have to do three types of blueprints. You have to do structural, architectural and uh, electrical. So let's say you find some blueprints that you like that come up with a, the, the building is designed the way you want it. The rooms, the way you want them, the size you want them, you do all of that. And then that's like, I guess, the architectural, how it looks. And then you have to do structural. So an engineer has to uh, really probably do everything. But the engineer then reinforces and finds out where um, there should be, you know, low bearing beams, uh, like what, what kind of stuff needs to go there in order to um, support that type of structural kind of foundation, all that kind of stuff. So they do that. And then the electrical also needs to be mapped out and the engineer can do all of that kind of stuff. But that can be a couple thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars just in blueprints. Right. And so then you have to contact the builder and then you have to go through the builder and build and all that kind of stuff. It's just it can be a really, really nice thing to do a really, you know, um, powerful thing to build something custom that you designed the way you wanted it and all of that. But it can be a bit more expensive to do a custom build than even just purchasing a home on the market. But of course, none of you know purchasing a home on the market has become very difficult as far as uh, bidding wars and things like that. And really the saving grace was new construction. Buying something new in a, in, uh, in a new neighborhood was usually the saving grace so you don't have to deal with the bidding war but all these hedge funds is coming in and they buying up all of the you know the residential properties and turning the the whole nation into renters and things like that and you know so it's, it's all of that going on so what what i decided to do was to build still build a new home but instead of doing a custom build, just going to do the traditional, going to a new neighborhood, buy a new house. But the reason that I'm even buying a new house is because I just need more space. I like large homes. I do. I, I just who I am. I, I don't know. It's, my house is pretty big now, but I want a dedicated studio space, like a dedicated like I have a studio room right now. But I want an entire space, you know, green screen room um, or, or area, uh, just different table setups, multiple cameras that I don't have to keep breaking down and moving and setting up here to shoot uh, when I'm doing an interview. I want to be able to shoot in one like we'll have multiple cameras already set up. I just hit the power button when I walk into that area and be able to shoot. I want to have a dedicated space. All my computers, all of my cameras, all of my stuff right there. And so my current four bedroom house is, is 
very cool. It's cool, right? You know, I technically live alone in the house. You know, it's kind of its own thing, but I still have a lot of family that come in town, whatever. And so that's kind of that. I just need a dedicated, and I had thought about buying an office, like renting an office space, but I just hate renting. I hate renting. I'd rather buy a house and just buy a large enough house or with a basement or ADU um, where I can just use specifically for my production space. So my current house is about 3,100 square, well, 3,169, I think, square feet. Um, moving forward on, we found um, a nice space to put a new house in a, in a new subdivision. Um, and it's less than what I was going to spend on a custom bill. Not only is it less than what I was going to spend on, spend on a custom bill, but it is more space than I was going to get with a custom bill. Now, this house is going to be still sometime next year and things like that. But I, um, I'll have a pretty large basement. I'm in the basement. And so the basement is going to be pretty large. So the house is going to be um, at least six bedrooms, main house. All the rooms is decent size. Um, and the the basement is going to be pretty nice size. It's definitely going to be at least 1,500 square feet. So I'd be able to dedicate that entire space. I feel like this house is going to be about 5,000 or something square feet when I'm when everything is finished out. But of course I'm getting the basement unfinished. And so, you know, I'm, I'm expecting about 5,500 square feet at least for the whole house once everything is finished out as far as like the main house and then finishing out the bedroom, like the uh, basement. But um, initially it's gonna have six bedrooms. I might put two bedrooms in the basement, maybe not. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I'll need it. But, um, but yeah, that's that's where I am. And I'm going to continue to watch the market go up. It's going to go down and go up, go down and go up. But over a period of time, I'm sure this house is going to be worth more than a million dollars over time. Just with everything that, you know, um, I'm planning on doing with it. So, and, and you know, this is, this is going to give me enough space to really breathe. Which sounds crazy because I have more space than I've ever had prior to buying any houses right i have the most space ever but i don't have a dedicated space where it's just a dedicated space for my for producing content and so that's what i'm going into and um of course it's exciting it's not i don't feel as excited as i did when i got approved for the construction loan but it's still very exciting to be able to do this to do this all right so here we go you know it's gonna be over half a million dollars you know to build this but I'm going home tonight to start selecting the things that i want to go in it and of course um the price that it's starting at and where it's going to end it's going to be higher so i know i'm going to be somewhere at least around six hundred thousand. um to get what I really want and you know that's that uh, and then we'll break down the whole earnest money and all of that kind of stuff because earnest money today I, you know I'm gonna do a separate video about that but earnest money today is not what it was before and what these lenders or, or these builders are doing now is not what they were doing before Okay, I mean, I'm going to break all of that down. I'm going to tell you about all of that, all right? So anyway, right now you're watching Casino is the Name. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we are out. Hey, yo, what's going on? Right now you're watching Casino is the Name, and if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot, Hot Shot, Volume 1, Own Your Trucking Authority. It's a great book, five-star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Yeah. Beat me up, Scott. Beat me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just count it up Money on my mind, I can't get enough Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really did, what a rap They ain't never did it, they
Say you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I called the Bustin' Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.